everybody, this is Tim from the Marching Roundtable. Today we're talking about props and backdrops, really important in our activity these days. Let's see what the experts had to say. Go to a hardware store, probably a big box hardware store, and just walk the aisles. Figure out what you need to do. You never know what type of material is gonna work for what you have to get done. And it's it could be, and if you, if you have a larger budget, there are plenty of companies that you can just call and say, here's what we want, deliver them. And it'll, it's all gonna depend if you keep them stationary. So if they're just backdrops, or if they're actual working props that move through, make sure that everything that they're doing has a purpose. Make sure that your eye, if, if you were to just move the props in the show, everything would make sense. And, and it could still be its own production of the props moving. You have to kind of think about the props and other things as performers. Uh, when And we've used props a lot. Like we actually, when we do our staging, we make sheets that have those props on them. Uh, and so that we always aware of where they are and making sure we're moving in and out of them. One of the biggest lessons we learn with props, if you're going to use them, make sure that you don't just use them for one moment. Try to always do them at least something in the beginning, something in the middle, something at the end. Um, so you have that consistency throughout. Okay, props and backdrops. What do you guys have to say? Well, I've seen, we've all seen some things over the years, and I think that the most important thing to consider is safety. Uh, you know, the each circuit and the, the national circuits have uh, taken that part of it very seriously as well, and they have um, put in place safety measures, heights, reinforcements. So please, when uh, considering props, especially if students are engaging those props, whether they're going to the top of them or you know spinning in and around them, please consider safety. Whatever the design, safety has to be paramount. It, you you don't have to put as many props on the field as you think you can. Like yes. sometimes less is <laughs> it's more. It's trendy, yes. oh but it doesn't mean you have to go crazy. Yeah, because yeah. again, you, and, and as the director, and I think budget, I think the fact that yeah. more it is, is, and also make sure there's a function for it. Sure. Yeah. You're not going to put a, a thirty foot. Uh, 30 foot tall globe on the field and not ever use it. It just ends up. Yeah. That's my issue. whole point. Yeah. If you have something out there, you have to use it. It yeah. has to, even if it's just a gargoyle goes behind it to get a new flag and comes back out. Okay. <laughs> it has served a purpose. <laughs> but if it's just out there and you don't somehow incorporate it into your show, I think that's a big thing. But don't let it become a crutch because we sometimes put a prop on the field or the floor and it becomes every transition moment. And that's something that the judges, I think, are, are they really take a look at that. I mean, they do help with transitions because if you have some props on the field, it does help the guard yes, get things quick, yeah. mm -hmm. more quickly rather than that run to the front thing that we always sometimes do. And yeah. I came from, I, I taught in some smaller counties, and I use props at times to frame the field up. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Especially so, with smaller groups. Yeah. With smaller groups. Yeah, what helpful. it does is it yeah. helps get rid of some of that negative space that you just, you don't need Very. to go back in that area anyways. So there's no reason for you to be there. So if you find some way of framing it, it makes life a lot easier. And, and one thing I will say, <laughs> transporting. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's, that's so important. Yes. Oh my so gosh. Important. Please make it so that <laughs> they break down easily. They can go up easily. I don't know about some of you guys, but navigating through these hallways, these yes. tools, oh, yeah. You've got getting plan it for that. just through the door, getting it onto your onto, your equipment truck or yes, your van. Just Absolutely. make sure it is Absolutely. easy to break down, get up. And does, load it, and does it coordinate with the overall design? Does it work? Does it work with maybe your floor design if it's an indoor setting and flags? Sure. Are, it, should, it should all kind of work together in a way. And if you're going to put this prop as a key theme of your show, make sure you implement and make that prop beforehand so you don't have the first two shows out. <laughs> Figuring it out. <laughs> moving, yeah. a, moving a fake thing. Plan <laughs> ahead so you have them yes. early. And if in the best world, make it do something nobody expects it to do. That'd be cool. Oh. That, makes, that makes a great prop a really great yeah. prop. And a surprise to the audience. Yeah, yeah. And do something yeah. I didn't expect. I always love that in a show. <laughs> this was great, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah. More about props and prop design, go to the Marching Roundtable. Thanks, everybody.